What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. Chantal has done a swimming stream. It's about an hour long. She starts off with a whole bunch of hellos. Oddly, Sala is in the chat while he's also serving as a lifeguard. It's 3 a.m. in Kuwait. What is her sleep schedule at this point? Because we're going to get into what she's going to do afterwards in a few moments. Now, she's talked about having skin conditions. She's talked about having wounds. We know the scenario Pete's went through, having to, in his own words, lift up a roll and blow dry to get her surgery to heal. Yet now she is admitting she's in a pool with bird droppings. And this is a joke to her because the birds are getting in from somewhere. And she also wants to make sure everyone's aware it's not mold on the wall of the pool. It's just different colors of paint. She also says that for those that are concerned about her hygiene, she's washing her clothes immediately after swimming. She says that she wants to do some exercises. But the real question is, what is the intent of doing this? Are you doing this for content? Are you doing this to live stream? Or are you doing this to improve your health? Because when we're eating for content, when we're wanting to make four tacos and eat literally two of them in less than six minutes, we have no issue putting in this effort, giving 100%. But when we're working out, we have this dramatic step down in intensity. And I'm not saying that she can't do this as content. But I'm certainly saying she wasn't giving all her effort on this. And what's going to happen is you're going to have all these people that are championing her, that are patting her on the back, that are saying, good job, great job, you're doing it, Chantal. And she's going to see zero results. Zero results. And then she's going to be even more frustrated, and she's not going to want to do anything. Because at this point, she's basically treading water for a minute to start this stream. She stops to look at Sala, giggle, and turn to the camera and say, starfish bees. Around 90 seconds in, she's talking about how hard it is to tread water. At this point, it's literally just amounting to moving her arms and legs. She's in a pool that she can practically stand in 80% of the pool. She talks about how this is going to burn hundreds of calories an hour. It's not. She says that doing this means it's okay that she can have a grilled cheese later. So this is going to be at 5 a.m., she makes a failed attempt to swim and then goes back to chat before, in her own words, imitating a seal. The chat tries to tell her, you know, stretch, do some movements, but her coordination is so bad. She wants to do laps, but she can't swim. Sala tries to make light of all this, saying she looks like a baby seal. Those are his words, not mine. She can't do half a lap. Instead, she elects to stop working out and go back to, you know, checking on the wall, looking at the marks. Tell us that she's been doing this every single day. She just hasn't filmed it. It's odd that she's doing this every day, but seems so unnatural, seems so uncomfortable in the water, saying at one point she's even scared to go under. After 10 minutes, she wants to try to swim a lap again. She does about a quarter of a lap, waves at Sala pretends to be a ballerina, never completes the lap, comes back, and starts to chat again. The chat asks at this point, do you even know how to swim? And she says, not really. She just swims like a frog. In the first 30 minutes, she has totaled less than one lap, treaded water for about five minutes. And you know what? Like I said, it's one thing to think that you're supporting her. She's working out. She's trying to get healthy. But the effort out has to match the effort in. The chat finally tells her, listen, swim a full lap. It takes her over two minutes. She returns out of breath, saying how easy it was, and then spends the next 10 minutes talking to the chat. Then says, well, what should I do now? Well, I guess I'll, I'll go tread water. The chat tells her to try to do a handstand. She just practically suffocated, jumping into the pool. Because her clothes came over her head. They now want her upside down in the water. Thankfully, Sala realized this was a bad idea. She goes back to the deep end, tries to tread water some more, and then says to the chat she wants to see how long she can hold her breath. Now, the chat is doing this clearly to encourage her to swim underwater so that a lap doesn't take two minutes. 
But rather than fill her lungs with air, rather than take this seriously, she elects to sing. Ask the chat to time her. She holds her breath for 13 seconds, comes up laughing, and tells people not to bother counting. She just doesn't have a good lung capacity. For the record, the average person can hold their breath for 30 to 90 seconds. This is literally dire straits for her health. And you can see how there is zero urgency. She then wants to do more laps. Instead, she paddles out about five feet and just starts to float. She spends the next five minutes not doing laps, but just kind of going from one side of the pool to the other, and then comes back and says, I think I have swimmers here. If we're talking about true workout, from a heart rate perspective, she has done little to nothing for herself in, in this hour. She is burning such marginal calories that I would probably say it's not worth the risk of skin infection soaking in this water, you know, pruning her skin that she can't dry, that she may not be able to wash. She then comes back to talk more about the chat, missing her mother, the splitting of the gifts her and her sister are doing, how much she wants a cheesecake. She then takes roughly two minutes to walk a lap, treads water, and then comes back and says, you know, this is extra resistance. This is a hard workout. The chat was right telling me this was the best form of exercise. She doesn't feel anything. Sala then elects that he's going to turn the lights off so Chantal can swim in the dark and jokes that, you know, they're going to invest in pool noodles, you know, because those are noodles Chantal can't eat. He then turns off the lights, proclaims he can't find Chantal. Your wife is literally at the end of mobility. You have an opportunity to help her work out. And instead of doing that, you're playing turn off the light switch while she's in the pool. With 20 minutes left to go, she does one more swim from side to side, which we're not talking about laps anymore. We're talking about going across the three lanes and back. That's maybe 20 feet. She then starts to talk about King Tut, how she won't be striking other channels, how she wants to focus on living life, these new challenges. And then the chat asks, you know, what have you done all day? She says that she ate stew with rice. She took a nap. She didn't eat dinner. She did laundry. She did dishes. And when she's done all this swimming, she's going to reward herself with a grilled cheese and tomato soup, which by my account would be around 4 to 5 a.m. With 13 minutes left, she does her final half lap, stopping to just basically flop in the water and say, I love this. She comes back to sing and talk tries one last lap and then gives up instead just elects to tread water. And I will say for that point, she did do more work than she had done the entire time. She almost went a full five minutes, but then she comes back and talks about how she loves to walk on the beach when she can and how her father taught her to swim by just throwing her in the pool to learn on her own. After an hour, she said she's done stopping to talk about something she saw on TikTok, And then again, She's going to go live later and eat. You can't have 1,500 calories of tacos and eat them with a such ferociousness and then think that this workout is going to equate that. As I said, the energy has to match. She needs to approach working out in this pool the same way she approaches Chicken McBoos. And anything less, as I said, it is only going to hurt her because to her, this is going to change her life. This is going to give her the six pack and anyone watching this is going to see it's just not going to be the case. I'm going to leave you with the top comments from the last video. I appreciate you watching this. I will be back soon as I can with more commentary.